Well, welcome this small but mighty crowd here to the <laughs> UA booth, the last day of NAM 2020. Uh, there's a good chance your voices aren't as bad as ours are at this point, <laughs> but that's the price we pay for being, you know, loyal NAM attendees. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna start it off with a bang today. My name's Corey Congilio, guitar player from Nashville, and uh, I try to do anything I can with a guitar. Spin a lot of plates. And uh, one of the cool things I get to do is moderate the Ox Tone Panel. We're going to talk about tips about how to get great tones with Ox, the amp top box. So real quickly, if you don't know what Ox is, um, it is something I stand on to get taller than <laughs> Apollo's. Uh. So they always put the short guy behind the Apollo thing. I should, I should take the fab position right here. <laughs> you can see me. But, so in any case, Ox is a premium reactive guitar load box and what we like to call guitar recording system. It was really uh, designed for you to harness the power of your beloved tube amp, whether it's a vintage one or a hand-wired one, 5 watts, 100 watts, it doesn't matter. You're going to be able to play that amp and really get the, the wide range of tones it can deliver at any volume and in any environment. I mean, you'll be able to plug your amp into AUX and select mo dynamic speaker models of 110 cabinets all the way to 412 and mic it virtually with large diaphragm condensers and ribbons and dynamic mics add room sound, and you'll even be able to add a whole host of post effects, just like they did uh, it, back in the golden age of guitar recording, where they went guitar, amplifier, turn it up, and go. And the first time I used Ox, I didn't realize how much was actually in my amp, because I couldn't play my basement past five, or my, my plexi past two, you know, but now, now you can with Ox, and it's a wonderful all analog circuitry that really uh, allows the amplifier to kind of speak the way you always wanted it to. Okay, so what we're going to do is we got we got a couple guys up here that you might recognize, mm -hmm. and they're both loyal Ox users. They use them whether they're making making big records that I'm sure you've heard, or doing a bunch of online content like I'm sure you've heard. And you you may have seen me pal around with these guys from time to time and talk gear and nerd out. <laughs> but I'm going to talk to you about the guy to my left first, dear friend. Millions of views on YouTube. Started his YouTube channel back in 2009, yeah. I, th I think it was. Um, you worked with every type of player possible, beginner to advanced. You have a handful of courses on brettpapa.com. You've moved that empire to Nashville, and now yeah. we're neighbors. Yeah. We've, e we've even gotten into business together. We recently launched a, uh, a blues guitar course awesome. called Complete Blues Guitar Volume 1. Yeah. But I couldn't have done it without this guy, and it's doing really well. We're getting a lot of really good feedback from him. Uh, and I can confidently say he's not only a great guitar player, but he's a good friend and a wonderful person. And I thought there's no better way to have him welcome than to say, welcome, welcome, <laughs> welcome, <laughs> Brett Papa Stash Woo. Papa. Woo. Yeah. What up? Yeah. So the guy to my right, man, I've been listening to this guy for a long, long time. And... You have to, whether you know it or not. Whether you're into um, artists uh, as diverse as Pink and Katy Perry, to uh, so one of my favorites, Raylan Baxter, Rob Thomas, Panic at the Disco. To me, it's like that pop punk Fallout Boy thing, all that. I mean, it came from, in my opinion, one place. <laughs> and he's right here. <laughs> but he's a killer guitar player, really wonderful person, somebody that I've enjoyed getting to know and I followed it forever because. Even though I'm in my 40s, I still rock out like a 14-year-old when I put this dude's records on. Super inspiring guy. He's going to really blow your mind today talking about Ox. Please welcome the one and only Butch Walker. Woohoo! So I thought we'd do a little bit of what we did yesterday, where we just talked about what our rig is. Okay. You know, and you got this killer new Ernie Ball that you just brought to the to the yeah. stage and you're plugging it into um, a pretty classic amplifier. Yeah, uh, this is a it's a this is the Ernie Ball Saber. They're brand new models, yeah. not even on their website yet. Uh, very cool. Uh, and I'm just plugging it right now. He's got me into a Marshall JCM 800 right. head, which is uh, pretty much the uh, guitar sound of the 80s uh, right. hard rock and uh, and uh, yeah, we've got it all pretty cranked up. Yeah, pretty, pretty rock and roll sound today, right. and it's going uh, straight into, straight into the Universal Audio Ox box, right. and then coming through uh, PA speakers. Which, yep. You know, so. And we're monitoring on stage with these little wedges that sound pretty monstrous. So yeah, yeah. would you let them hear it a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, 
And here come the strippers. They're just walking. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's the sound of rock and roll from oh. the 80s, for sure. <laughs> Stripper mating call. <laughs> <laughs> and then they just all start dancing. <laughs> right. oh, <boy>. So um, <laughs> you're plugged directly into the ox, and if you look above us, you're seeing the, uh, the app displayed above our head, and you see that he's, he's putting that amplifier through a 412 sort of kind of traditional basket weave, green back sort of vibe, miking it up with something we talked about a little bit yesterday, and we'll go into it deeper as we talk in the panel, but there's a large diaphragm condenser mic on there and a ribbon mic, mm -hmm. and he's got it the off axis, and it feels good. It's not as harsh and as sort of direct, maybe. Yep. Uh, and listen to how it reacts as he turns his guitar down. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it, it responds like your amp, because right. it is your amp. Because it is your amp, <laughs> exactly. And, and the way it loads the amp is is the way it would load a cabinet. So. Exactly. It tells it tells your amplifier that it's safe, because you don't want to turn a tube amp on for any long period of time with no speaker plugged into it. And aux is totally safe, regardless of the tube amp you have. It's going to be really great. But keep those presets where you got it, because there's a lot to talk about cool. on that, because it sounds great. So, Brett, you're playing sort of the guitar everybody knows you for. <laughs> right. This, this sort of strat that was drug behind a truck. Yeah, Beautiful. You know? that strat. Had it forever. My, bless my wife. She got it for me as a gift, and uh, I man, I've had it since day one on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, and last year you played this amp. It's the PRS yeah. Archon. Sounds freaking and great, man. Hit the gas. Yeah. We're gonna have fun. <laughs> uh, I can already tell it's gonna be a good panel. So that little amplifier, yeah, uh, 50 watt amp, two channel, and there's no live speakers up here, mm -hmm. and it really sounds like it's rich, it's warm, it's punchy, it's got sort of like a soldano y kind of tight yeah. thing going yeah, on to it. Sure. It really kills, man. Yeah. And I, I, we have a, a 412 dialed in for you too. We oh, only have nice. one amp at a time on the act, the Aux app, and we're gonna. We're going to talk about it when Butch is going to be my, uh, my pilot over here. Okay. And he's also going to talk about like, some of his favorite settings, too. And I want you to chime in because you are okay. a lover. I mean, you and I use oh. this thing every day. My when we favorite guitar videos. invention of all time. Yeah, I mean, it's like I don't think there's a product that's changed guitar in the past three years like yeah. Ox has. It's pretty incredible. Sure. I mean, I, I, I was saying this to people yesterday here that when I met Corey, it was like two years ago at NAMM. Right. And you were in a much smaller cubicle with, with, this, well, they, new, with they, this new invention, and you were playing through a Fender Deluxe yep. and uh, with a Tele. Yep. And I had already heard of this box, but I was like, why is UA making a load box? Which a load box is basically a Variac, which you can plug your amplifier into it before it goes to your speaker cabinet, and you can basically crank the amp right. all the way up and get it to like gain out without blowing your neighbors out. And you could you know, adjust the master volume with the Variac. And I was like, well, that's cool, but why is UA making a Variac for, get, what, why, is, why are they getting in that market? And yeah. then you showed me the interface and what all it could do for recording. I mean, how and then fast I was, did it come together for you? It came together immediately. I, exactly. took, I got the box, I got, I got the aux, I took it to my studio and immediately plugged all my amps through <laughs> it and started making presets and everything. And then I can, I can honestly say in the last two years, I've probably used my mic guitar cabinets about 20% yeah. of the recordings. 80% has been just every amp yep. through this. Yeah. yeah. And it's, 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 an, it's an incredible, I think it's a game changer, really. I think so too. And Brett, yep. you have a couple great amps at your place that we play through all the time. Right. You have a great divided by 13. Mm -hmm. People don't know this, but, and, and I don't want to blow your, your cover here, but, but you used to put those amps together. Oh, so he knows gosh. a thing or two about tube amps. Yeah. And, and he's got a great <laughs> ear, great ear for tone. And uh, you also have a really great Friedman amp. And man, it's like, we cover the gamut, which totally. is those two. Like, I don't even bring gear over to it. No, his I don't. You know, what's funny is that um, ever since I got the aux, A, I haven't plugged into a speaker since I got it. Right. And then B, I don't even use my pedal board anymore. Because yeah. all the stuff in the yeah. aux sounds so good that it's And you like, can, you know, pedals are like, helped us to, to get to where we need to be faster. Yeah. So we can put some gain in front of the amp. Mm -hmm. It's like, but when you're able to control that from your amp, you can kind of ditch the pedal. Well, and it's interesting because how, how it's set up, it's more like it would be in a studio where it right. your amp just feels comfortable because yeah, and, cool. and usually you're trying to accentuate your, your tone with the pedals and get it to like where you feel good. But like yeah. it's the first time I can plug straight into my amp, whether it's recording or doing the YouTube stuff. Right. And just it just feels good. And it's like, oh, you want a little room or a little verb or like what you're gonna show with the mics and stuff. Yeah. And I can take my Friedman or my divided by and it's like four twelve or one twelve or 
10 inch speakers and the amp sounds like a completely different amp. You know, I mean, and so it's as far as a tool and doing what I do and bringing over all different kinds of players, anybody can be comfortable. Cause it's like within, you know, a minute they can dial in any tone they want. And yeah, like, yeah, I mean, cause otherwise how difficult would it be to somebody that never played an amp modeler before, and you go, yeah. oh, plug into this, and then they're like, well, and that's just it. Yeah. If you don't tell them half the time, they no don't one's know. Gonna, they're right. not gonna fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> I was recording. Uh, pardon my language. There was there was a uh, there was a, uh, a a record I'm working on right now for uh, doing a new Wallflowers record, and I used um, this guitar player Val McCallum. Oh, he God. plays with Jackson Brown, and uh, he's a really incredible player. And he comes in with his '64 Princeton, and that's yeah. his amp. And by the by, the end of the week, I had him plugging that out of that the speaker out of the the Princeton into a Princeton cab in oh here, and he never no, knew a change. Wow! <laughs> when we were playing, he never knew. That's and awesome. I kind of like I'm sadistic that way. I kind of like <laughs> people. So they're like, "Is that a real amp?" I'm like, "Yeah." Yeah, yeah, man, you're mic'd up. And they're like, "Yeah, I can tell." <laughs> so speaking of cabinets, awesome. can we show them with the tone you got dialed up, yeah. like how easy it is to pick a different cabinet and how actually. Cabinets yeah. really affect what I call like the DNA of your tone. So yeah, you can go like yeah. here, like I mean, we'll even start with just this 110, which is a 110-inch speaker, and it's like, so. So you know, it, it'll get like, you, you, it'll get a little bit more squawkier and honkier, sure. like, and then I mean, just keep going down the line here. Like there's that something like. Really nasally. A little more brittle yeah. kind of sounding. Yeah. Right? Uh, uh. No amplifier check settings. We, have, we didn't change the settings on the amp. No, no, it's just it's, it's Marshall. Just, it's constantly just kind of recreating. That's kind of cool. Uh, that, that, yeah, that's, uh, then there's this Greenback uh, 30s, or no, GB30. Like that, um, bus rider. Kind of like a. Uh, that sounds like a. Um, like a. Uh, uh, what's the amp? Music man or something. Or, uh, yeah. That's like a twin. Custom so, twin. And they just they just ox um, has just been updated with a, a handful of new E30s. Yeah. And that's uh, that's the JBLs, I believe. So you're talking. Yeah. That's, so that's. Now we're playing, that's one of the speakers that, um, if you go, go Sorry. back to that. That's okay. okay. You were just, uh, I don't that know where guy. you were. Yeah. Um, so those are like kind of JBL 120s that are a high wattage speaker. Uh, they're really popular with uh, everybody from Buck Owens to Jerry Garcia. And Van Halen used those as part of his wet dry thing. <laughs> so when you're doing that kind of thing, mm -hmm. it's going to be, keep doing that, man. That sounds good. Look. One of the things that I found with modeling products lots of times is that the clean sounds often suffer. So if you got a really great clean amplifier, a cabinet like that is going to really make it just bloom beautifully because it's going to cover a lot of the higher frequencies that are often hard to grab when companies are doing, you know, uh, you know, clean amp or clean cabinet modeling. You know, that's was always things with any kind of digital modeler. The clean amps from yeah. were never right. Right. You know, but so here's a, here's the thing. Pick a sound, pick a cabinet. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna talk about how that can change with microphones, and then Brett is gonna play over top of it with his sound. Okay. And we're gonna see how they marry together. See, I'll see. I'm gonna go back down here to one of these. Uh, let me go. Let me find. Uh, That's a good one. That's a tight 212 cabinet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know this. Uh, it's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's, it, I mean, I know, what do you, you want me to play? Yeah, so let's go. So I have a sound that's kind of browner.
what I like to do with these guys is obviously put them on the spot, but have, we have like three distinctly different tones, really saturated, compressed over here, a little more open rock and roll kind of tone, and then yeah. I'm playing this uh, two rock amp, which is more Fender-y. <laughs> And depending on what parts we play, obviously, if you start kind of naturally stacking tones, mm -hmm. you know, which is really, really cool. Yep. So how much have you had a chance to kind of play around with effects and, and those kind of things in Ox? Like, how has that changed your world? It's amazing because, like, teaching songs in the, in the back, one of the things that nobody talks about in the Ox is it comes loaded with a bunch of different yeah. iconic guitar sounds. Right. So whether it's like, uh, you know, I teach a lot of Jimi Hendrix and stuff like that, and there's like, Wind Cries Mary and A Bold is Love. And so they recreated like the studio sound of those particular, uh, you know, sessions or whatever. And so it's great to be able to not only get kind of a, a Hendrix tone, because I play out of a kind of a Marshall type amp, but then when you get the, the actual like sound of totally. what Bold is Love sounds like, or the Van Halen stuff, there's some killer right. Van Halen patches. And so that aspect is, is great. And then, like I said, you know, when, you know, whether Ford Wait. or Guthrie or any of these guys come over, right. you can really tailor what they like yeah. To do too, you know? Right. And so, like we were doing here a little bit, you know, you can set up sounds that don't compete with each other and it just sounds really great. Yeah. And, and the, the, you know, they're, they're basically the UA plugins. Yeah. That, which are so amazing. It's, it's an 1176 compressor, yeah. which is one of the best emulations that, right. they, that, they, that, they, that has been made. And so you can have that on, on your guitar sound already built in. You can have like the plate reverb is like a two yeah. EMT yep. 250, I think. And then, uh, and then the delay in the chorus modulation. It's yeah, you. you it's well, kind of like just, even just like the mics, right? You can get like a fifty-seven and a yep. one sixty, and it's just like it sounds so good, you yeah. know. And it's like you don't. Me, I'm not an engineer, or I don't know how to record that well. So for me, who doesn't come from a recording background, it's like instant gratification. I'm like, that's perfect. That's exactly what I want it to sound like. And if I need to tweak it, it's easy because it's like, how many buttons are there? Right. It's, it's easy to get around. Can you play a little. You really got me. Uh, Van Halen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the one yeah. I the one I totally like is there's one um that's like uh drop dead legs and it sounds exactly So what's cool like, oh, in there. Yeah, it's amazing. So what's cool about that, so I, I changed Brett's um you saw me kind of going through what we were doing is we, we were connecting to his aux with this app. And it's a good thing you're here today because there's a lot less Wi-Fi traffic <laughs> going on because otherwise it's like the spinning pinwheel. Totally, death, wheel know? of death. So what I did was just play that real quick what you just did because I want them to hear how special the preset is. It's subtle, but, but just- Oh, is that, that the really, replay? No, they really got me one, just real quick. So if we go to the reverb, yeah. the reverb is panned almost like it's almost you know hard right. It's getting there. But if we let me take it all the way, try it again, and then you hear it. Yeah. If Van Halen's you know, funny. It would, exactly. be, it'd be a lot more. Right. Yeah. Well, it's it's Flooded. funny because I've been in that studio. Yeah. And it sounds so much like that reverb wow. that they have in there. Cool. You know, they, 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 we were doing a session there and Tim's like, you gotta check this out. And they turned on the reverb and I was like, Amazing. there it is. You and wanna try the, uh, so the Drop like Dead Legs one? You, you got, I don't you know, got I, don't, I don't remember if I, I uh, don't know how it goes. Or some facts in Do you know it? Oh, yeah. No, it's uh, <laughs> wait. Uh. Oh yeah, that, that one. Oh, the opening, yeah. So if you look behind me, oh yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah. Well, he, Eddie had that Roland chorus. Yeah. I can't remember what it Holy. was, but it was like a two-space rack thing with a bunch yeah. of black. Knot. So you can do that in Ox because there is delay built in, and chorus is delay essentially yeah. with a really, really short time. And and so you can get that really wonderful chorus. Holy you man. can get you know a flanger type of setting. Yeah, get your flanger on. <laughs> Oh, let's do that. Let me turn it, turn it up. Do it again. Let's see. The plate reverb. <laughs> I mean, that fast. And the cool thing about the presets is it gets you in the ballpark. You're, yeah. you're pissing off the DJ booth. <laughs> well, and I'm happy. <laughs> I'm going to give Brett one more because it's really fun. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, so I'm enjoying the, this. Um, 
there's there's some really great Hendrix ones. Oh, the uh, Bold as Love one is amazing. Oh, okay. Yeah, you want to yeah, yeah. try that one? Um, and this is great because Brett really dives into this stuff because he teaches a lot of this stuff. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, Axis Room is Bold. Yeah. Room so, is Bold. Yeah. Um, but, funny. So look above me at the preset. It's pretty drastically changed. And it's yeah. it just it nails that room it's sound. The room. Like that, That's one know? thing Listen that we haven't talked about. Yeah. 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 Right. So good. I one mean, of my favorite things is the is the room simulation on yep. this, the room mic. Uh, it's just it sounds insane. Like play it just yeah, just sure. with the room mic. All right. Uh, right. Yeah. yeah. You can you can make it stereo. Yeah. You can even. Uh, you can dampen it by putting a rug, putting rug underneath it. it. Yeah, that's yeah, that's killer. But... So then you blend it back in with a mic. Play. See that that's just this guy, right? And then bring this in. It's cool. A little bit of compression on there too. Yeah. And I think, you know, as as somebody who's behind the desk and, and doing that thing, talk talk to guitar players about kind of compression on the back end of your guitar sound. I particularly really like it because it fun, feels yeah. fat. You know? Yeah, and recording, you can record with it, uh, and this is already with it on right. the back end, basically, right. because it's the it's it's the mics, you know, and then the pre and the sure. EQ, and then this would be on the back side of it, uh, which is great because you can save from having to put them on later in your tracks That's right. Right. if you want to just commit it with this already on Yeah, and it. the thing is, is you know, the, the sessions that I've done recently, it's like, if you find something that sounds good, run with it. Don't be so afraid to, uh, no, commit. to not commit. You yeah. Know? Um, you know a little Wind Cries Mary? Yeah. This is brilliant. This is brilliant. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so nice. that's a lot, again, of that room sound and kind of a boatload of compression, I think, to play a little bit. And watch the meters above my head. Yeah, so, so it's squeezing that whole room sound. Yeah, it really sucks, sucks the room sound up into the, into sure. the mic. Yeah, sure. and, yeah it's awesome. Let's, let's go back to, to Butch World over here, and we'll go to Stage Ox 1. I believe right. that's one. Yep, sure. As I break the iPad, <laughs> uh, as long as we can find it. See, now what happens is, ah, <laughs> sorry. So we're going to refresh, because people are coming in now, and we're getting a lot more Wi-Fi right. going on. Somebody told me yesterday, they're like, man, you really danced around that Wi-Fi thing very well. And I was like, it is total fear. Um, oh my God! No, so now, it's, oh, so we gotta. Here's the thing: is we gotta put it closer. To oh yeah. You, and we're gonna do that. So this is where it gets. That's where it gets better signal. Yeah. Well, yeah. We're getting a little closer. I think my and gold it, tooth helps it. Uh, oh, is there pick a, up a little, little conductance better. there, something yep. like that? Um, well, we will we will see if it searches. But in the meantime, talk about instances where like. You're not using cabinets for the most part anymore. No. You worked on, you and I are having a conversation about the Rob Thomas record you did. And, yes. And I was like, dude, these tones, I texted you, these tones are awesome. And you were like, all ox. Yeah, Same. totally. Yeah. Yeah, well, it, you know, it was one of those records where I got left alone. I'm going to hunt while you I got left talk. alone with the, with the tracks. I got the vocals from, uh, from Rob. Yeah. Literally emailed to me. <laughs> with a with a like just a uh, a vocal and a piano. Oh no! Nice. And I would take the piano out and just use the vocal and build a track around it. And so when it came time to do the guitars, one of the common themes we wanted was like a really big like yeah. almost a big '80s lush, lots of chorus, lots of delay, um, like very er like early '80s Lukather. Nice. You know? That but, doesn't and suck. No, not at all. And so some of my favorite guitar sounds. Yeah. You know? So I got to su go super indulgent. Uh -huh. and do it all, and and yeah, I made a bunch of presets and saved them in in my ox, mm -hmm. and uh, was able to just like recall them and you know very quickly yeah. pull up. Oh, I need that like super compressed uh, uh, stereo chorused out guitar right. kind of washy thing. So oh, I've already right. got that saved. Yeah, right. you know. 
and, uh, and, diff and it would be different cabinets and different microphones and yeah, I mean, there's just a lot of possibilities and it's, there's so many options with it. Well, you know what's cool too, Corey was telling me, and I, and I did not know Aux could do this, but now you can get a foot switch made. Right, oh, And yeah. so you can literally turn the reverb, the delay, or, or set it up however you want. And so if you took it to a gig, it's like you don't need your pedal board. And by the way, that's the thing is you can use, people are using these live now. And, and they sound incredible. great. Because the best part about it is run your amp through it, yeah. and then you can turn the volume down on your cabinet yep. stage volume wise, so you're not pissing off the singer. Yep. Yeah, that's impossible, by the way, <laughs> to not do. Uh, but then again, uh, that you take two lines out of the back stereo yeah. to the front of house to the PA speakers for your sound guy, and he's got the most incredible sounding mics, you know, totally. already processed with all of whatever effects you want on well, it. Well, and he can come and dial it in the way he wants and it. And the to sound be done. is the yeah. same for you every night. Totally. Instead of it changing with the wind or yep. like bad current or bad microphone <laughs> cables or anything like that. I mean, there's all kinds of problems. So. Yeah, I mean, I think that's that, that's yeah. one of the things that people haven't really realized is that it's it's a great live show tool. Well, and, and even to, to your point, like, if you don't want to take your cab, you don't have to, right? right. If, as long as you got a that's monitor, right. yeah. somebody to hear it, I mean, pull your head in the aux and you're going. It literally sounds great up here. So, it seems to like my aux right now, so I'm going to have, I'm going to have Butch produce okay. my, my track. Okay. So, I'm just going to play with this two rock. <laughs> Can you play a little bit in the key of D with your with your shreddy tone? Fly, he's just kind of taking my sound against what he's doing, and and Butch is producing me. Oh, <laughs> dreams come true. Just you're always wanted, dreams right? Come I true. just ruined his career with chorus. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I heard Dan Huff say, "I thought I used all the chorus. So there's no more left." <laughs> I used it all in the '80s. So I don't know if we'll get it to connect, but let's try one more time and see if we can, uh, you know, with the, with the Wi-Fi that's uh, on stage here. I mean, it does not like your ox, dude. I don't know it's what's okay. going on. It's got to carry the load. Anyway, so, but one of the things that we did yesterday is we said, all right, we got, we got a couple iconic guitar sounds going on up here. To me, the most iconic guitar, one of the most iconic guitar sounds you ever made was through a battery-powered cigarette amp. Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> and I, through a, through a and we, had this no we had this conversation because I plugged it in the aux. Now, I don't know if that's legal or recommended, but... <laughs> He said he played this particular riff through that kind of amp. So I think you guys might know this riff that he's going to play, maybe. You know, if you're... Only if they know my music. <laughs> yeah, there's probably a couple. Yeah, yeah. Probably peel that through. Anyway, there we go. Yeah.
Bushwalker, Brad Papa, thanks so much for hanging Woo! out. I'm Corey Cagilio. Take the Luna experience and play the ox. Thanks so much, everybody, for hanging out. Have a good last thanks. day in AM. Awesome.